Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord, I hope that you're having a fantastic day, and in today's video we're actually going to be talking about a big event that is supposedly going to be happening in Fortnite Battle Royale sometime very soon. This event will actually, well, it's been rumored that this event will definitely get rid of Tilted Towers forever. I know it sounds crazy, but there is a lot of evidence supporting this theory. So yeah, please do stay tuned throughout the whole video. And uh, yeah, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, all that kind of stuff, including giveaways. I've actually got a couple of giveaways on the channel right now about Fortnite. So yeah, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notification. Check out my other videos. Uh, but other than that, let's get straight into today's video. So yes, that is right, guys. There is meant to be an actual meteor right event that is going to be happening sometime soon in Fortnite Battle Royale and uh, there's been a lot of people on the reddit page of Fortnite who've been compiling a lot of information to kind of support this crazy crazy ass theory I mean it sounds insane but when you look at the evidence surrounding it it sounds very plausible so I'm gonna be reading off this one dude's uh, reddit post his name was Nikorazi or something like that so yeah Big shout out to you, dude. Thank you very much for compiling all of this information. But basically, there was a meteorite spotted in Fortnite Battle Royale sometime around about a week ago. If you just look up in your game and you look up to the sky, you can actually see that somewhere in the sky there is some kind of big glowing white thing. And that was only added a couple of days ago. Like, nobody knew what it was. A lot of people were actually saying, like, is that a meteorite coming to the game or something like that? Or is it some kind of graphical glitch? And a lot of people have now said that, yes, this is going to be a meteorite on its way to actually hit the world or hit Tilted Towers. It sounds insane, but yes, it is actually true. This is what's meant to happen. So yeah, if you don't believe me, go into your game, wait till it gets to nighttime, and just look into the sky. Even at daytime, you can see this. But if you look into the sky, somewhere around the map, you will actually see that there is a big white glowing circle thing. And it's just kind of staying still right there. But you never know. It might be getting closer by the minute. As the updates come in the game, it may start to get closer until eventually... Boom! That is right, Tilted Towers is no longer in the game. So basically, a lot of people saw this and was like, oh dude, like, that's kind of crazy. That is really, really crazy. Because around about two weeks ago, somebody actually made a map concept where Tilted Towers was no longer on the map and it was actually replaced by a meteorite crash site. And it was just all destroyed. And uh, that map will most likely be on screen right now. And as you can see, I mean, it's not really the greatest map looking thing in the world, but still, as you can see right there, on, I guess, D5, Tilted Towers is no longer there, and it is this kind of crater, kind of meteorite kind of area. So, again, that would be pretty cool if they added this into the game, to be honest, because I know for a fact that Epic Games has been getting really annoyed about adding Tilted Towers into the game, because basically, a lot of people are landing there at the start of the game, and within around about 10 minutes or 5 minutes into the game, already there are only 30 people left, and... I know for a fact that they're getting really annoyed by that. They really are. And it's kind of it's kind of ruining the dynam of, uh, dynamic of the game. You know what I mean? Other than that, another kind of thing to support this whole theory is that over their last update, or during the last update, a lot of people started to notice that there was a couple of new items added to a couple of the hills in Fortnite Battle Royale. And these things are actually... Um, these are actually, uh, what you call them, telescopes on the map now, if you go to certain parts of the map, they'll probably be on screen right now, there are actually telescopes looking towards the way the meteorite is on the map. And there are around about like four telescope kind of areas on the map, I believe now. I found one near Wayland Woods, I found one near the middle of the map, near that big huge kind of, near Salty Springs anyway. And there's been a couple more around the areas. Uh, but like, I don't know exactly how many are on the map, but I know for a fact there are more than four telescope spots around the map right now. And all of them are looking up to the sky where this meteorite or supposed meteorite is actually going to be. Now, if that isn't crazy enough, there is actually more little theories going about as to 
why people are experiencing uh, vibrations when they go past certain parts of the map. Yes, that's right, vibrations. Basically, a couple of people have noticed really uh, over the last couple of weeks that when you have a controller plugged into your game or, you know, you're playing on console, if you go into certain areas of the map, you will feel your controller vibrate. And a lot of people are saying that, you know, this these vibrations are actually like, uh, I, I guess, a, a part of that meteorite, you know, coming into contact with the Earth itself or wherever we're at actually on in this island or world. I don't know if it's if it's Earth, but still, you know, people are saying that these meteorites uh, are causing vibrations and that they are eventually going to hit down and destroy uh, Tilted Towers. Now, I was actually going to make a video about this a couple of weeks ago about why Tilted Towers is actually kind of ruining Fortnite Battle Royale right now, but not only Tilted Towers, basically the whole left-hand side of the map is ruining the game right now because if we look at the map right now, as you can see, most of the bigger spots where you loot is on the left-hand side of the map. I mean, you know, we've got Pleasant Park, we've got Greasy Grove, we've got Tilted Towers, we've got Junk Junction, we've also got Shifty Shafts. And when we look to the right-hand side of the map, there's not really that much great, like, there's not really that greater, like, places to land. I mean, nobody wants to land at Tomato Town, there's nothing there. Uh, Anarchy Acres, that's pretty poopy to be honest, they need to remove that from the game because they've already got a field down at the bottom, which is Fatal Fields. All that top right hand side of the map is unused, like there's nothing there. I mean, there are a couple of houses where you can get some loot, but nothing compared to what you could get at Shifty Shafts. Not only that, Shifty Shafts, like you get a lot of loot there. Tomato Town, you don't get any loot there. It's it's absolutely insane. The whole left-hand side of the map is dominating over the right-hand side of the map. And this is the big problem here because Tilted Towers is also part of that left-hand side of the map. And I feel like Epic Games know that they've done wrong with the whole map placement of all of these p points of interest. I feel like they definitely need to improve on it because seriously, guys, how many people do you know land at Lonely Lodge? It is an unused part of the map. I mean, I have landed there maybe twice, three times maybe tops. Wailing Woods, again, is not even a great part of the map because there's hardly anything there to actually loot from. Other than that, they've got Moisty Mire, which is okay, I guess, but still, there's actually no benefit from landing at Moisty Mire because you're basically gonna be chasing the storm half of the game anyway because you're on the very corner of the map itself. So, I don't know. I feel like this meteorite event is actually going to be happening. It will most likely be to improve the game. I would actually hope that it would land somewhere around about H2, around about that area. I would hope the meteorite lands there and creates some kind of weird dynamic to the map. Somewhere where people want to land, something big that has a lot of loot in it. Other than that, I just feel like Epic Games really need to look at this map and say, you know what, we've made a huge mistake here. Places like Dusty Depot do not have enough loot in them to be reasonable places to land. So yeah, we definitely need to do some improvement as to what we put on the right-hand side of this map. Because I swear to God, if they add another area to the left-hand side of the map, that is insane. I will be so annoyed by this because that whole right hand side of the map is absolutely terrible for loot and nobody lands there. So maybe, you know, this whole event will actually destroy Tilted Towers and maybe some places over on H2 will be hit too, which will actually make, let's say for example, people build upon that. So maybe like we might see one little uh, kind of town up in the top right hand side of the map. You never know, like Greasy Grove, for example, you know, maybe there will be something like, um, I don't need, I don't even know, like, uh, let's see, like, uh, Boisty Boulevard or something. I, I don't know, but still we need more locations on this map to be added in. Uh, but anyway, that is what I feel about this whole meteorite event. There are my reasonings for, yes, this is actually most likely going to happen. I mean, it's plausible. I mean, the whole season two battle pass was, uh, or season three? Are we on season three or two? I can't even remember. Comment down below if you remember. But this whole season is being a space team. And uh, you never know. Maybe it's gonna happen, maybe it won't. You know what I mean? Maybe it might even just be for an Easter prank or something. I don't know, like an April's Thrill prank. Uh, but other than that, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below about this whole thing. Do you think it's bogus or do you think that this is actual plausible information and that it could happen sometime soon in the next couple of days? Uh, other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.